So all these fish that I've caught so far have been somewhere between seven and 13 feet. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Super tanker. What's up, fisher people? It's the first day of sun after three days of total crap. We were still catching a few walleyes and a few bass during that crap, but I want to see how long it takes them to really get back on the bite. Ooh, that sun's bright. Whew. Now that we got some sunlight again, hair jigs were kind of a big deal during that cold front. The jig in the minnow kind of worked, but not as well as normal. The plastic didn't work at all. So we're gonna see what happens today. Do we need some hair jigs? Does the minnow work better? So we're just gonna figure it out as we go and see what we can do. Try to find some fish as per use and that's the deal we found some fish we caught one walleye in 20 feet yesterday which is not normal this time of year there still were some shallow but a lot of them pushed out deep and they just see them on the graph and just stare at them and not get a lot of bites so I'm hoping they'll be back up in that three four five feet today if not, maybe eight to 10. I'm not gonna fish 20 today with the sun. That's just, I don't think necessary at all. I'm marking some fish here in 10 to 15. They might pull up later when the, the sun has more time to do its job and warm things up. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be a feel day. You have to feel it out. Find it. Find it. I'd love to catch these fish I'm marking right now. Holy cow. We'll see what happens. I was just setting my line down to go get my hair jig and uh, Pike hit the dead stick. Thankfully he got it out on the mile so he's not gonna rip it off. A lot of Pike break offs the other day. Another dead stick fish, I think it's a bass. Dead sticks popular this morning. That's a big bass. Holy cow. That's a Brutus. That's a Brutus. That's long and thick. Holy cow. That's an 18 and a halfer. 18 and a half, master angler. Not very rare here, if I'm being honest. Another mark down below me too. Let's see if I can get him to bite. Another dead stick fish. Just all about the dead stick today. Still a little slow this morning. I guess if it works, but it's not that much fun. And no walleyes yet. You do get walleyes on a dead stick once in a while but not so far finally got one on the hair jig and he might get in the way of my dead stick so you might not get to see the nut job oh my nets way out of here too my nets way out of the way you'll still get to see the fish though of course That's a nice bass again, too. Thick. Oh, dead sticks down. Dead sticks down. I got a double. I got a double. Da, 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 da. He got off. Okay. <laughs> no biggie. Ugh. Another good bass. Still hoping for some wallies. Sure is nice to have a little bit of calm and some warm sun though no matter what the longer that sun bakes and the water warms up the better chance we have of catching some good fish walleyes included so 
So all these fish that I've caught so far have been somewhere between seven and 13 feet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so they're, they're still kind of hanging out deeper than I'd like them to be. Haven't really come in shallow yet, but it may happen the more the afternoon goes on. This dead stick's always in the way. I should put it on the other side of the boat. Strong fish. Big strong bass. That fish was probably a little shallower though. I was pitching up there. He might have been at three, four, five feet, so that's a good sign. I like that. I like finding those shallow fish. When you get them up there, they're usually aggressive. Up there to eat. Another absolute tanker. <laughs> what a fish. Tell you what, too, I'm kind of getting into this hair jig thing. I kind of dig this. Both bass and walleye has been hitting really well. It's, it's always been kind of known to be like a cold water thing. So when we got that big cold front and water temps tank back into the low 50s, 50 degrees, kind of like, well, if the jig and minnow doesn't work slowing it down, the hair jig might have a shot. And the hair jig's been good. Hair jig for the win. Hair, 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 hair. This one happens to be a quarter ounce. I've played with both quarters and eights. That's a quarter ounce black hair jig. Black seems to have been, it was definitely better on that dark day and so far today, it's even seemed to be better. I haven't had anything on the white hair jig yet, so. I don't know if it kind of looks more like a leech or a minnow. Well, it has not warmed up like I had hoped, but I just saw this nice fish sitting on the shoreline, pitch my hair jig out there, and it feels like a sizable walleye if it's not a pike. Don't get my dead stick. It's in my dead stick. It's in my dead stick. Where are you going? It's actually a small moth that's just really big. <laughs> it's a really big lethargic smallmouth that kind of fought like a walleye and bulldogged me the whole way. That's interesting. I was not interested in normal smallmouth games. That's a big bass. I'll have to measure that one too. Whew. Look at all the belly on that thing. Maybe it's not that long, but it's just a lunker. It's only 18 and a half, but it's just fat as anything. Holy cow. And it's fun to see that fish mark it, pitch at it, hammer it home, get the bite. That's good stuff. I found another smallie. Smallies are more fun when they're like super piled and super crazy. The occasional smallie is not quite as much fun. I'd much rather have the occasional walleye, but again, you take what they give you, right? It's a nice bass. It is a nice bass. Still on the black hair jig too. <laughs> now he really doesn't want to go on the net. He's pulling out so much drag at some point. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of line and have to reel down, but luckily I didn't. That's what's on the bite. That's what we got going. So that's what we play. Fish. Now the bass game's starting to heat up a little bit in this little corner of the bay. <laughs> that's back to that cast, so. I don't know, that's something. And they're both pretty shallow. 
So the bass aren't coming up shallow again. That's a good sign. Instead of catching them out eight to 10 feet on a dead stick. If you can get them back here in a foot or two right next to shore, that's kind of what you're after. Just need the walleyes to follow suit. The walleyes always seem to be the most finicky, you know? Everything else seems to kind of perk back up before walleys do. So, what do you do? Easy, I gotcha. Just another tank, though. We're all three spawn tanks this time of year. Third week of May. Almost the fourth. What are the chances? I can just leave the camera on and get another bite. It's been a while since I've seen them piled in a spot. They've been more scattered. A lot of times though, when the bite does get really good, they do pile up in an area. That'd be great if I could get three in a row right here in the same little corner. Wind's been pushing here all day. Not a ton, but that's the direction it's going. Moving some of the warmer water back here, which is only 53 degrees. It was 56 three days ago. So we might start to get some bunches. Oh, I missed that one. Let's see if he goes back at it again. I didn't get him very good. I could tell that he didn't quite have it right. It wasn't the normal thump, it was just kind of an awkward series of ticks. Like he grabbed the back end of it. But you never just pull it right back up, especially with the bass, because oftentimes they'll go right back at it. So you always want to see, if you leave it down there, whether or not they'll come back for a second try. So that was three casts in a row, with bites anyway. Two out of three landed. I'm right back where he hit it last time. Right on that drop from like two foot to four. Looks like I feel that jig took longer to fall right there in that last pop. There he is. <laughs> he was sitting right in that same spot. <laughs> right in the same spot, never moved. Just waited to ambush it again. <laughs> Four casts in a row. Oh, it's fun when you get them piled. If you're gonna catch bass, and you're not a huge bass fan, you can at least get some enjoyment out of it when it's this fast of action, you know? Catching anything this quickly is rather enjoyable. It's hard to ignore that. Unless they're pike that are breaking off your line all the time, but. I don't mind catching a bunch of toad bass. I don't mind that at all. Well, if you, uh, if you watch the Hangover movie, you might remember the saying, you never leave a heater, which means I don't leave the spot or turn off the camera until I don't get a bite. Pulled into a weed there, I didn't know if it was a fish that pinned it. There we go. Oh, missed that one. <laughs> that was definitely a fish. There he is. <laughs> oh. It's just almost automatic now, which is so much fun. That's why you bass fish. You bass fish for the automatic, right tight to shore pitching bite. That's what I love about bass fishing. That's a tank or two. Ugh, another master angler. Easily 18, without a doubt. No way. 
That's under 18. Just no way. Super tanker. <laughs> Five out of six. Camera's been going for just under seven minutes. A smallmouth bass heater. How about another, huh? Just keep plucking the shoreline. Cause they're in here thick. Next cast again. <laughs> Jeez. I've only had two empty casts out of nine or eight now. Always jumping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is kind of fun. Not gonna lie. I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. Catching bass. It's nice and calm back here. One tank after another. Just spraying casts around in the back of this bay. And there's fish all over the shoreline. Don't take all the hair off that thing. I need that. When you find them, you find them. Well, looks like there's a fish left on site imaging. Why don't we throw out there and see if he bites? A true pre-spawn bass heater. Might have to scoot up the shoreline a little bit, try some new water. Might have warm out. Wasn't over for long, next cast. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I can get that one in that way or not. It's probably stupid. That's too big for boat flipping, but I did it. I do have 10 pound braid, 10 pound floral leader, so, you know, I can do some things. That line's probably wearing out after that many fish, though. So it's riskier each time. He's got kind of a stubby, messed up tail there. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Fish left, fish right, what do you do? You get out your camera and you take a picture. We'll go back this way where we were catching them. Oh, now they're on the other side of the screen anyway. The school has shifted. So many fish shadows over there. Side. Oh, there's one. <laughs> right up on my camera now. <laughs> I was still able to set the hook though. Wow. Look at you go. <laughs> that one's a little smaller. Still not what you should be doing, but when there's so many there, it's like, I just wanna get them in the boat. Get him. Line back in the water. Holy cow, it's just absolutely littered with smallmouth back here. It should be every cat. Like if you had a slip bobber here, that slip bobber wouldn't sit in the water for more than a second. Clearly you don't need a slip bobber though. Goodness gracious. Can't believe I didn't get a bite on that cast. That's so weird. How many fish are back here? It is getting a little warm, I'm starting to get kind of hot in these pants. But I don't want to take the time to take anything off. I might beat these smallmouth senseless till they don't bite too. If you catch too many in a row, they kind of start to shy up a little bit. Hopefully it hasn't happened yet. One more would be kind of fun. Always one more, right? It's always room for one more. I may have broke the school. Well, if that's the case, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, think about supporting the channel on Patreon, and I will see you next time. Fisher people. Just kidding. One more. <laughs> we got the one. We got the one. One more for the road. And my forearms are officially sore. Free spawn smallies. <laughs>